Hi, this is Bob Brown, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is Friday, December 23rd, 2016. And today, as you know, this channel is dedicated to business and using business science and the business social sciences to examine real world problems, how we can solve them as business people, and basically come to uh, better solutions. This, the story arc we're going to use today is the harassment of Ivanka Trump, her three children, and her husband Jared on a JetBlue flight. What had occurred is uh, um, two men who were married to each other, with, and they themselves had a child with them. They, one of the men became very agitated when he saw Ivanka Trump on a JetBlue flight and began to verbally harass her and say that your, her father, Donald Trump, is ruining the country. Now, I think anyone can agree this is inappropriate. Uh, harassing someone uh, is wrong. Harassing a, a, a female with her children well, I'm old school guy, so you know I, you know that just doesn't sit well with me. And so she had her family, so she had her husband, her three children, and this person's harassing her. She's in a very vulnerable position. She's seated in an airline chair. She really can't get up. She has to protect her children, and all this is going on while this person is harassing her. So it it it's very difficult to understand the motivation here. But let's look at this some a different a little bit differently. So in business, if we all know as managers or leaders, if we harass an employee, sexually harass an employee, verbally harass an employee, or emotionally harass an employee, we can be brought up on literally legal charges and we can be dismissed from our position. So we all realize that harassment of any employee or fellow colleague at a business will usually result in termination. At the very least, it result in you be written up and if you do it a second time, you'll be dismissed. There's a concept you should be aware of called silent acquiescence. Silent acquiescence is where a manager or leaders, and it can also be fellow employees or colleagues, that in other words, you, to any reasonable person, you, are, you should have been aware that this person was being harassed, especially the person's supervisor. And if you're found guilty by your management team or by a legal team in the court of law of silent acquiescence, you can be culpable to sexual harassment by some other employee who's harassing your employee. So be very, very careful. If you see something's happening, take immediate action. Go to HR, find out what's going on, and, and document everything that happens. Do not slide into this, well, this is a powerful employee, this, is a, this may be a dangerous employee, maybe I'm afraid of them, or this is an employee who has a lot of clout or a lot of knowledge. Don't, don't fall into that trap. If a person's breaking the rules, you should take action. Go to HR and say, look, I think something's going on. I think this employee may be engaged in some type of harassment of another employee and have HR help you investigate it and document it all the way. So that's silent acquiescence. And that is the, where a manager has to be, you have to be aware. You are required to be aware that people are harassing each other at work and you have to take corrective action. So we're aware of that. As business people, we know if your employee harasses a customer, well, that's going to be grounds for instant termination because you can't, as a business person, I can't have an employee harassing my customers. I can't allow that. So I have to get rid of that employee. So you have to have very strict guidelines. Make sure people understand clearly, do not harass the employee. If you see an employee getting in trouble with a customer, if a customer is very unruly or very upset or upsetting an employee, intervene. Intervene to manly. Say, hey, take this employee out of this position, situation. Hey, you go cool off for a minute, sir. I'm the manager. I'm going to make sure everything gets right here. Let's get things under control. But there is a case, and this is the case of Ivanka Trump being harassed on the airline, where you now have to confront customers harassing other customers. And this is increasingly becoming a problem. Any one of us who's flown on an airline, we have faced obnoxious uh, customers, fellow customers, well, they're not fellow employees now, they're fellow customers. And in this role that they found, they, they put themselves into, because business in a lot of ways is a performance between the employees and the management and the customer. It's a very, it's a very choreographed uh, routine, ritual, and performance. So, so now we've all been in that position where someone's rude to us, obnoxious to us, who's downright just you know, disagreeable to be with, and we're and an airline. It's the worst place because you're sealed in. You can't get away from them. You may be in that plane for two hours, or God forbid, you're flying to Singapore for 24 hours, and you can't get away from them. So increasingly, management teams are having to deal with this. For example, if you go to Starbucks and you start cutting up your customer in line, you start harassing other customers. The management team, I guarantee you, is going to come to you and say, "Hey, 
knock it off or you're going to be asked to leave. If you don't knock it off, the, cut, the manager will call the police, you'll be escorted from the Starbucks property, and you will probably be banned from all Starbucks property worldwide. Increasingly, businesses and corporations are doing this to unruly customers. They cannot afford the liability and safety hazard that an unruly employee or employee who presents themselves as dangerous or erratic they can't, they can't have the safety violation or the insurance you know, liability from this. So be aware, unruly people out there, businesses will increasingly ban you from their property. And if you set foot back on that property, you will be faced with heavy fines and you will be probably, you will be brought into the criminal justice system and you will probably be spending some time in jail. In the case of Ivanka Trump, now we have a customer harassing another customer. And of course, at that point, the management team has to step in and say, sir, and, and, and it's very similar to an employee to employee harassment. We cannot allow this behavior here, sir. This is not what this business is for. This is JetBlue. We put you on a plane. We fly you as safely as humanly possible from point A to point B. That's our mission, sir. We want you to be comfortable as we can make you in this aircraft, and we want you to be as safe to your other arrival. Attacking, verbally attacking, harassing a, 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 a family with their children who, who really can't defend themselves because they're, in a, they're connected to Donald Trump. They're very powerful people, very famous people, and anything they do will be misconstrued against them. So this is highlighting a new problem of how, as a customer, you should behave. And I postulate that as an, as, just as an employee, you should be respectful to your, your management team and your leadership team. You should treat them with dignity and respect. They in turn should treat you with dignity and respect. You should treat your subordinate employees or your fellow team members with dignity and respect. Treat your vendors with dignity and respect. Tr above all, treat your customers with dignity and respect. If you don't understand this, you don't belong in business. Because without dignity and respect of each other, this, this performance called business will not work. So in the case, increasingly, I would also say there's silent acquiescence of customers. And this is a very dangerous topic, and I want you to understand, I'm not advocating you to put yourself in harm's way. But as a customer, when you see another customer harassing a customer, you're going to be in a situation, and I've seen this myself as a business scientist, where the staff, the management, they don't know how to deal with this. They are young people, they're not that educated. You know, this could be in an ice cream parlor, this could be at a Starbucks. Starbucks management are pretty highly trained to deal with this, by the way. But there's going to be businesses and there's going to be situations in business where people aren't trained. They simply don't have the education. They don't have the life skills. They're not old enough. They may be small. They may feel vulnerable to, to all this. This is all wrong because this is damaging the economy and the business worldwide. So what do you do? Well, again, I talked about silent acquiescence. And as a customer, you can be, quote, unquote, guilty of silent acquiescence. Now, I'm not saying you should put yourself in harm's way. But if you see a situation that's escalating, you should probably remove yourself from it, get on your cell phone and call 911 and say, look, there's someone acting very unruly at this Starbucks or this ice cream parlor or this shoe store or whatever it is, and you should come immediately to help these people. So don't be guilty of just standing by and doing nothing. Again, you can do things without putting yourself in jeopardy. But increasingly, I see this everywhere. I see people who are extremely rude to the people who are, who are employees. This is wrong on a lot of fronts. So again, be aware that as a customer, you should treat yourself as an employee, treat your fellow customers as, almost as fellow employees, and you'll stay out of a lot of trouble. And if you see a business in trouble from unruly customers, don't just stand by and be silently acquiescent to it. Step out of the situation, make that phone call to the police or to the authorities that can help them, and get these people help. Because remember, not everyone has the life skills that you or I have. So we make sure that we, you look after people as best you can, treat people with dignity and respect, especially your fellow customers and especially your employees, your management team, and you will get ahead in business in life. This has been Bob Brown, and as always, keep studying.